Well, the language of U.S. politics can get a little confusing. Midterm election, House majority whip, independent campaign expenditures. While here in Washington, people understand this verbiage outside the U.S. Capitol, it's another story. Here to provide some clarity and to take us behind the numbers is Eleanor Cliff. She's a contributor to Newsweek magazine and the online news site, The Daily Beast. She understood all those words I just threw out there, too, by the way. <laughs> That's right. Um, let me ask you about the Senate. They're saying a, a net pickup of six for the Republicans will put them in control. How likely is that? Uh, well, they already have three seats that we know automatically are going to switch Republican, and then they have there are several more very competitive races. If they only just win half of them, they will get to the six. Uh, then they will have 51 senators, which would give them control in the 100-seat uh, body. But there are a couple of races that could go into a runoff, another one of those words, uh, where if neither candidate reaches 50 percent, they have to face off yet again uh, in December in one state and in January in another state. So there's a possibility that uh, which party controls the Senate might not be known uh, by tomorrow morning. So it looks perhaps likely, but it may be delayed whether or not it happens it, or not. It, it's more likely than not. But there are a couple of people out there predicting the Democrats will hang on. And the voters generally do give us a surprise. But it looks like a very good year for Republicans. It, speaking of good years, uh, people around the world might be scratching their head because the economy actually seems to be chugging along. Let's listen to President Obama. I want to bring you back right. out after that. Let's listen. Over the past four and a half years, our businesses have created more than 10 million new jobs. First time in six years, unemployment's below 6 percent. Housing market that was reeling is now rebounding. Auto industry that was wheezing is now roaring back. The manufacturing sector that was shedding jobs for more than a decade is now growing twice as fast as the rest of the economy. Okay, back in the 90s, right. yeah, as you remember, <laughs> it's right. the economy, stupid. That's, That's right. what uh, James Carville and company said right. when Bill Clinton was running. Right. If it's not the economy, right. stupid, what is it this well, time? Well, the president is right about all of those numbers, and you could add another one. Gas prices are going down. Usually when gas prices are going down, whoever is in office uh, benefits. The reason it's not working for this president is that everyday people are not feeling the benefits in their lives. Income inequality has grown in this country, and the wages of working people have really not risen for 20 years. So people aren't feeling it in their pocketbooks. The well-to-do have done very well. The rich have gotten richer. The middle class is hurting. And secondly, this president, who is such a gifted speaker uh, and orator, uh, has been unable, really, to sell himself and his message. And Democrats have really not promoted what they've done well. And uh, the other side has really trumped them when it comes to advertising and message making. And I think the whole country is in the dumps. Uh, they're looking around the world, and they see chaos, and they're worried about Ebola. And uh, everything focuses on the White House. And so the president is kind of getting blamed for lots of things he has no control over, but uh, he doesn't look like he's in control, and that's that's bad news for a chief executive. There was a quote in the newspaper today in the Washington Post, mm -hmm. and, and I thought it was interesting, and I want to get your thoughts on it. Right. Uh, it was, uh, it, President Bush was not a very good thinker, but he was a good leader. Mm -hmm. uh, Obama's a pretty good thinker, not such a great leader. Is, is that accurate? Uh, well, the president doesn't lead with bells and whistles, and um, he doesn't bring a lot of emotion and passion. The, the clip you showed there was, was quite effective. But for the most part, he's contemplative, he's low-key, uh, and apparently um, the media in particular is looking for something else from a president that defines leadership. You can go issue by issue, and you could say he demonstrated leadership, and he, and particularly on this Ebola scare when uh, people were really uh, getting carried away and governors were wanting to quarantine people, the president's calm, steady approach worked. Plus, he dispatched American troops to West Africa, which was a pretty bold move kind of early in the game. Uh, but um, the theatrics of the presidency uh, seem to elude him, and uh, he doesn't come across as a strong leader. We're just about out of time, but quickly, if the Republicans were to take the Senate, uh, what are we likely to, to see here in Washington, D.C.? It's been pretty dysfunctional up to this point, likely to stay that way, or more confrontational even? Well, um, the Republicans have a vested interest now in showing that they 
can govern. The country is disgusted by the gridlock. I mean, they're angry at both parties. And so I think there are some opportunities on trade deals, particularly one that relates to Asia. I think uh, the president wants it. The Republicans want it. I think they'll give him that uh, victory. Immigration reform remains a, an elusive uh, prize. Uh, but I think, you know, the Republicans may want to look like they got the message from, from the uh, American people that they want to see something happening here in Washington besides name calling. Well, Eleanor, it's always a delight to see you. Thanks so much for <laughs> hey, coming thank in. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And stay with CCTV America throughout the coming hours as we take you through the 2014 midterm elections. Jessica Stone will be following all the results as they come in from the moment the polls start to close. That's about two hours from right now. So keep it right here.